right, here's the last look at it, my repairs. Uh, before we put it to the ground, we're gonna see what happens. Well, I was kind of afraid of this. That's why I was going pretty slow. I was going really slow, but it's, uh, it probably hit a stump in there that it couldn't yank out, and so it broke right here. Hey guys, Capper here. Well, today's mission is to try part two of the chisel plow. Might help if I'm in gear. So, anyways, today's mission is going to be part two of the chisel plow. First, I'm going to show you the repair that I did. Yeah, it's kind of a hack job, but now we're going to go test it out. If it breaks again, I'm probably going to give up on this one. Um, and maybe get a spring-loaded one, but we'll see. Yesterday, it held up pretty good, or a couple days ago. I mean, it actually stopped the tractor a couple times when I hit a, a deeper uh, root. So we'll see if it's got a little more strength. So let's go have a little fun. Okay, I got the uh, the original uh, tabs back on with some welds. My welds actually weren't too bad. Uh, I bet you that'll hold right there. Ah, just kidding. So now I'm going to start adding some more supports. I've got several ideas. Um, we'll see what I'm going to come up with, but I'm going to add some new straps, maybe even on both sides. All right, so this is my first support right here. I can tie it into this, this big hunk right here, and I can tie it into the actual frame back here. And I'm kind of thinking of mirroring that and putting a second one on this side. Um, I got to cut it a little shorter here so I could still add uh, shanks if I want. But if I tie a second one into here, I think it's going to be gold. And that's how most newer implements are now. They have uh, two supports. So I do have it tied in on the bottom. Obviously, those ain't the greatest welds. Um, but the uh, side ones and the top ones are pretty good. I'll show you those here in just a minute. But I found here where it was had two hollow spots in there that's where it broke at where there was machined holes in them pieces of steel and the top ones they turned out pretty decent for a hack I got them there I didn't like this one here at the frame but I mean it's got a grip anyways I'd love to hit the field right now and finish that plot but I think I'm gonna need a little more beef than that yet So this is one of my ideas. <clears throat> I'm kicking around several ideas between just like one inch round bar and I think this is either inch or inch and a quarter tubing. I don't know what I'm going to end up with though. We'll see. So here's a different idea. I'm kicking around because I just don't know about welding on the end of these when you got that big pinhole there. So I was thinking about this tubing but then I figured a uh, one inch round is going to be probably better so to tie a one inch round it'll tie it directly into this uh, with this one inch you know this huge stock right there so I think I'm going to try this rather than the other way all right I know you experts ain't going to like it but I took the sledgehammer to it pretty good a few times, gave it the old hammer test, and uh, I mean most of them welds are sticking. I took my time with them. I know they're ugly, but they're functional. So we'll see if this is going to work. I'm thinking before it'll break now, the uh, actual shafts are going to break, which I'd much rather have those break than this machine here, if you will, this implement. So we'll pretty it up, get it out nice and painted so it won't look so bad, and we'll take it out to the field. All right, there's the second one, the final look before paint. There's the first one. And my weld of the day was that one right there. 
That was my best one of the day. But they both survived the sledgehammer test. So, I mean, it's definitely made it much more stout. Is it stout enough? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out pretty quick, though. Get it all painted nice, put back together. On, on the one that broke, I added this 3 8 inch and this 1 inch bar. And a lot of welds. Alright, here's a last look at it, my repairs, uh, before we put it to the ground, we're going to see what happens. Okay, so I just hit one that stopped the tractor and I didn't have the cameras rolling, or at least not the in cab. So I just basically stopped, put the camera on in the cab, and I'm going to hit the same stump again.
break anything. Okay, on this one here I hit a whopper of a stump. It completely stopped the tractor. I didn't have any cameras on. And I forgot to turn the rear GoPro on. So the only view we have is this one here in the cab. But you'll clearly see how stuck this thing is and I'm, I'm reefing on it to <laughs> test them welds one way or the other. I'd say Pretty good test right there. Got the whole tractor stopped up. up shower so I'm done just a little early but here's the after look I have uh, I ran the uh, ripper Clark if you will through the whole thing and only in this new spot only a couple times but I'm getting rained out so I gotta head out of here because I hate when the tires get all mucky and muddy I'll catch you on the next go around though looking good Once you get to the gravel, 
get that orange uh, clay though, forget it. It's starting to come down pretty good. Alright, I think we made it. They're getting low. There we go. That's for the uh, ATV I gotta bring in. Should have done this side door. Oh, there we go. Good to go, man. That's that's style right there. But now I gotta walk to the house. Man, it's coming down all of a sudden. Yeah, I might be able to check that uh, ditch over there. All right, and the after inspection looks like everything held up. I can't see any uh, cracked welds. Looks like we might have bent this one a smidge. Um, but I wanted to get new pins anyways because one or two of these got heated up. I forgot to take them out. Yeah, a little bit. Not bad, though. My welds all held up, even these kind of chintzy ones. And man, did we put it to the test, there ain't no doubt about that. It had all this weight buried, about 9,000 pounds worth. Good deal.